here are four tips in uh, getting ready for Gmail. So the first tip is to switch to Google Chrome. Um, Firefox, uh, Edge, you know, they're all fine browsers, but Google Chrome is going to give us a significant advantage in using Gmail and uh, the rest of the Google Apps that are going to become more commonplace. And uh, so uh, some people had been avoiding it in the past because there was an issue with FaWeb. That has since been resolved. So now Google is going to be your best browser. What's really nice about this is you can sign into Google. Uh, so you can sign right into the browser. So that's that's the advantage here. Because I'm logged in here, I can, I'm logged into my personal Gmail account, which I do use. Uh, and so it keeps my, uh, keeps all of my uh, bookmarks right here. It, across all of my devices, it saves my passwords. It's very convenient this way. So step number one is to log into your browser. Quick tip, if you go into settings um, right here, and if you edit the brow edit a user, um, so if you have multiple users by going here and going to switch person, if you have multiple users, you can press this button to add a desktop shortcut. So that way it not only loads Chrome, but that particular user. So if you share a computer with someone and you have, want to have multiple people logged in to Chrome, like I do with my wife here, uh, it's very helpful to have these shortcuts, which you can then drag and add on uh, to the test bar here, which I have done, which is how that got here. Okay, so I'm going to add um, my wife's uh, school uh, Google account to this, uh, to her personal account. So she's logged in, and I'm going to show you what it's like to add in another. Uh, you can skip this step if you uh, if you don't use a personal Gmail account, because you would just start here, add a letter L, and oh wait, Laura, can you enter in your password? Okay, so now we're in, and I can switch back and forth between my personal and my work. Um, First step is to um, add in categories up here. One of the best parts about Gmail is that it can auto sort your mail into some very simple but helpful categories. So I'm going into settings, configure inbox, and I'll just add in updates. So these four I find particularly helpful. Feel free to customize and tinker around, but um, why don't you start with these four and we'll press save. And so it gives it a second, and there we go. So these four are now up. So uh, messages or any updates from my work Twitter account, from uh, LinkedIn, or anything like that will come into a social. Uh, promotions, any ad deals, discounts, Barnes & Noble giving a teacher promotion, whatever, that will automatically come here. Updates for, from Amazon shipping, from any purchasing or anything. Uh, that nature will automatically put here and uh, primary will be stuff that uh, is relevant or anything that it doesn't identify as these three uh, so that'll all be right here so that's uh, thing number two after logging to Google Chrome and then uh, setting up the tabs thing number three now is uh, this uh, message box right here very very handy so I can add in uh, so I'll type in someone's name and I will invite to chat so over in my uh, my account I see my wife saying that she wants a message yes and so now I can see that she's online and I can say hi oh okay well I would spell that normally and so now there it is now I can disable messages I can appear offline or just appear invisible so I can still message folks but to everyone else, I appear offline, and that might help avoid distractions, or I can just go ahead and sign up. Okay, uh, so that's thing number three, and the last one is the best one, and that's right here. We go to settings, configure, uh, themes, actually, right here, and now I will pick any old theme. Uh, there's a couple of cute ones like bus stop or tea house that'll automatically change depending on the weather. 
So that's you know just kind of fun. Um, oh, you know what? Let me let me add on a fifth thing for the post, for the people that are still watching. All right. Uh, if I go into settings and right here, uh, down here is where I set up my signature. So what I recommend is putting your name uh, and then your job title and then uh, phone number and you know uh, some basic information. I think. Uh, Ideally, though, I just put in this bold, this italics, and then I'll have Gilmore Academy and school's phone number or my phone number, uh, something like that. Okay, and this is where I would also put on vacation reminders, which hopefully you can do. Enjoy your summer. Let me know if you have any questions.